Hi guys, please like, share and subscribe and comment. Um, and also hit that notification bell so that you're made aware of our future videos and live streams. And also, if you look in the description below, you'll see all the links to our social media as well if you want to follow us there. So today, as the title has already said, this is a Music Magpies um, pickups vid. So, right, okay, let's get started. There's going to be a few stories to some of this as well as we go along, but I'll get into that as we go along. So, right, okay. So, number one, we have Taito's Legends. It's in very good nick. Very clean, like it normally is with Music Magpie. And it's got the original paperwork and the manual behind it. And obviously the disc, which is also clean. And that came to £7.94, including postage. So good price, actually. Um, I have seen it slightly cheaper. But most of the time, the disc is battered, so and the manual's missing. I mean, I'm not really a guy that really needs the manuals, but it's nice if you've got them. Sometimes it's just worth paying that little bit extra just to get a good quality. If I'm going to have it, I want it in good quality. So, right. Uh, then we move on to play it pinball on the PS2. Now, I haven't played this one, but I was a big fan of the old uh, Pinball Fantasy, Pinball Dreams back in the day. So I thought I'd have a look and pick this up, and it was cheap anyway. So this one here, um, as you can probably see, is, again, very clean. And it comes with everything. Disc is fine as well. Now, this one was priced up at one ninety nine. Now... There's a few in here that are $1.99. However, I didn't pay $1.99 for them because they had a deal on where you buy two for £3. So, you, you know, you'll work it out as we go along. Right, so yeah, that one was $1.99. But like I said, it was in the deal. Right, then we move on to Xbox 360 games. So, Halo 4, again, $1.99. Again, very good condition, no marks on it, and again, it comes, oh no, this one doesn't come with a manual, it just has a bit of paperwork, but in saying that, I don't know if this one actually had a manual in the first place, so, but again, disc is clean, case is clean, happy with that, like I said, one ninety nine, so it was part of that deal, then we've got Gears of War, now, I have actually got this, I had this given to me by someone, but it was in te a terrible state. Case is a mess. Disc isn't exactly in the greatest. So I thought I'd buy it again, especially when I saw it for $1.99. And again, manual. Disc is fine as well. So like I said, that's another $1.99 one. Gears of War 2. Now this one I haven't got. So this was the only one I had missing really. So again, all in good condition, as you can see, very clean box. Only problem with this one, no manual. But like I say, you know, manuals don't really matter to me. It's nice if they're in there, but if they're not, I'm not majorly bothered. And for 199, you know, you can't expect too much. So when you look at it, I've got four games there, 199 each. Two for three pounds, so if you work that out, six pounds for four games. So I did all right with that. But then they had another deal going, and the other deal was two for five pounds. So, first of all, we've got Tron Evolution. Again, nice and clean, like we expect from Music Magpie. Disc is fine, and also comes with a manual. And that one would have been $2.99. This one a little bit grabbier. Right, it's got stickers stuck on it. In the corner there, but nothing major. That'll come off. Other than that, very good condition again. Disc is again clean. And this one again comes with a manual. So that one would have been $2.99 as well. But like I say, it was 
two discs for five pounds. So in total, I paid for, not including Taito Legends, I paid for six games, 11 pounds. You, you can't moan at that. <laughs> that's, that's really good. So really happy with that. Right, and then we come to my, I suppose, big spend. It was a lot of money to shed out in one go. Um, but well worth it. And you'll know why when I show you. Right, okay. Anyone who knows anything about their gaming will know what this is. Obviously, this is the very first PlayStation 3. Now, I could have got the slim version, but I didn't want that because the slim version is not backwards compatible. This one is. So this is the Setcha 01. This is the one that had the hardware to play PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games. The later models had uh, emulation. And again, you had to have your software up to date. And obviously these days, that's not something you can really do. So I wanted this one. This has got the hardware. This has got the chip that you need. Now, normally, I'm going to put this down because these are not light. These, these are heavy. And if you know anything about your PS3 facts, you'll know this. So I'm going to put that down. Um, now, these, when I looked on eBay, were going up to, like, including postage, around £300 in places. Um the only ones you could find over here that were of a reasonable price were different models and they were the emulation ones which was not what i wanted most of these ones you could only find in america or japan and you were talking about 250 pounds with about 60 quid postage on top like i said it's a heavy console so the postage is going to be high especially if it's international so so you can imagine my surprise when i saw this on music magpie on ebay because on their site, they didn't have it on there. When I saw it on eBay, for £119, including postage, I thought, I've got to have this. I've got to get it. Wife wasn't too happy, as you can imagine. But I've got a few things I'm selling anyway, so it's not a major thing. It'll, it pretty much will pay for itself. Um, yeah, so £119, and that's with the controller and the necessary leads i've tested this out already it does work fine and it does play playstation 2 and playstation 1 which is exactly why i wanted it for so the reason why i bought this is because a lot of you guys if you've been watching my videos you'll know that a few months back i bought a ps2 slim only i wasn't aware that ps2 slims have a bit of a problem i was told that they were backwards compatible well, they're not. <laughs> uh, any PS1 game I put in this thing, it wouldn't read it. And when I then Googled about it, it's because they're black discs. It won't read the black discs. But then I found when I bought some of the PS2 games off of Music Magpie, they wasn't playing some of them either. And again, I Googled it, and if they had a blue bottom, it didn't like them either. So really, when you think about it, it's not a lot of good to me. I wanted it for backwards compatibility. So this is why I bought the PS3. Not because I want PS3 games in particular, because I've got an Xbox 360 and most games were released on that, but mainly because I want something that will play everything. So hence the reason I've got it. And obviously because it's a PS3, I wanted to make sure that PS3 games worked on it as well and not get stuck like I did with the PS2 Slim. So I bought Batman, and this one was three pound two pence again. Music Magpie, obviously, because this whole whole video is, and you know, again, it's in pretty good nick. And once again, it comes with the manual. So really happy with that. I mean, you can't argue three pound two. Now, technically, I could play this on. Um, my PS Now account because you can do that on PS4, but you can only stream play it. At least with this, I can actually just play it. So, so yeah. Um, and obviously, and I'm just going to grab this one last thing because I forgot to get it down. 
obviously the other thing if you've watched my other video you'll know that i picked this up from china for around seven pounds including postage so um that was something else i picked up this week if you haven't watched that video i'll link that at the end because i, I think i did pretty well there seven pounds for a little cheap console from china that's actually pretty good and it's typical isn't it every time i do one of these bloody videos that dog starts doesn't it right so um yeah if you like i say if you haven't seen the video i will link it in the back so you can have a look for yourself um i was actually quite pleasantly surprised with this i mean i really done it just for a laugh just to see what i'd get from your money and yeah it worked out pretty good i think it is something i'm going to use i'll take it to work when i'm on a break i'll sit there and play it but like i say you know i've done a video on it so i'll put the link like the little thing that comes up at the end just click on it if you want to watch it so right okay so that's my um pickups for this week anyway i have got more stuff coming um not a massive amount because obviously i've just shelled out 119 pounds on a playstation 3 which the wife was not happy about so i'm trying to keep my spending at a bit of a low at the moment and obviously christmas isn't far off now so so i have got a few things coming um but nothing too extravagant but i have got a couple of nice little interesting things coming something that you probably won't expect me to be getting so make sure you keep watching the channel because it will pop up at some point and speaking of the dog here she comes hello molly you pain in the backside yeah keep barking right okay so i'm gonna wrap this one here like i said at the beginning please like share and subscribe and comment and i can't point out enough sharing really helps if you share our videos more people will find us and that's ideally that's what we want you know it's nice to know that when you're doing your videos you're doing them for a reason people are watching them so if you could share that would really help us out um also uh our social media accounts are all linked below so if you want to follow us on there you can just click them and we are on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well. So, yeah, they'll all be below. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Nerdy Geezer out.